Delhi has this beautiful magnetic pull, complete with all the chaos and madness. But what brings it together is the food. And for me, it's my personal ambition to constantly explore and discover the secret gems of Delhi. I'm in the heart of South Delhi, in Lajpat Nagar, and you have like these tiny little hectic meandering streets where you have authentic local Afghani, Persian food. And every little nook and corner has their local treat. So right from their version of fast food, which is the Afghani burger, it's actually a healthier version and very filling to their kebabs, to their breads. You can just, you can walk through the streets and you're kind of enveloped with like beautiful, complex aromas and fragrances. And everyone's very keen to kind of share how they make their food. Chopan Kebab is perhaps the only restaurant in Delhi that serves Uzbek, Afghani and Persian food. So I sat down with the owner, Babita Narula, who took me through the various delicacies at the restaurant. Afghanis and uh, Persian people, they love when they're having uh, uh, dinners or everything, they want to sit together, sit together and eat from the same plate. That's their tradition again. Yeah, fantastic. And I love how communal usually dining is. What all are we eating today? You really? have uh, Kuwaiti here. Joji. And this is all chopan kebab. This is the lamb again with the bone. This it's is, with this bone. is okay. the most authentic kebab of Afghanistan. We are eating the uh, kabli palau. Comes with the uh, carrot, mutton, and uh, raisin. That's Afghani na. I especially recommend their Uzbeki Palau. So soft, extremely aromatic and melts in your mouth. They not only serve fantastic options for meat lovers, but also have a great spread for the vegetarians. We have uh, Ashak, okay. which is very famous Afghani uh, dish again. Tell me in Persian, what's the local way of saying Bon Appetit? No Shijan. No Shijan. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I have been exploring the food experiences in Delhi for quite some years now, and yet I haven't seen it all. So I say be humble and keep exploring. You never know where you may hit your own secret spot in Delhi. During one of my explorations of the city, I stumbled across the very beautiful and quaint Humayunpur. Through its lanes, you'll notice some delicious, authentic fares from, you know, you get Tibetan food, you have Nepalese food, um, you have food from Manipur, all over. The other things in the streets that you'll see is the on-point, super trendy fashion. It may have just hit the runways of New York and you find it here within weeks. It's so fascinating that this is a secret gem of New Delhi. I'm at the very quaintly decorated, super authentic, uh, categorical eat farm, where they're serving out delectable, authentic Manipuri food. And today I have a spread in front of me, which involves the Manipuri Thali, which is one of their best sellers and it's so, so delicious, which has rice, which is predominant to any Manipuri meal. You have two kinds of dal. You have the very, very tasty duck curry. Um, you have a fish stew, two kinds of chutneys, and 
a boiled piece of pumpkin, which traditionally you start the meal with because it acts as a cleanser. And the beauty about this meal is that the use of fermentation is quite primary in their mode of cooking. Including this very interesting rice beer, which is again fermented rice beer. This is basically a deep fried, it's a fritter made of ground flour, which is besan. It's sitting in a consomme and a soup of tomato, garlic, chai and seasoning. To add more texture to this soup is fried little crunchy peas. So basically you hit different notes of, you know, taste, crunch, all of that on the same spectrum when you have, and this is like a one meal in a bowl. And this is one of my favorite things that I love eating when I come here. Um, so, bon appétit!